know this is a great opportunity to go check out one of these super seas and maybe uh, maybe make the big leap. <laughs> Good buddy of mine, Darren, who I met through the Prevo life prior years ago. Well, what kind of a coach are we looking at here, Darren? This is a 2015 Hallmark, a 45 foot four slide on a Freightliner Cascadia chassis. Today, Quartz gonna take this for a drive, let us know how it compares to his Prevo. We're gonna see this coach with the slide outs in, with the slide outs out, hear what Heather has to say, and Darren's gonna tell us all about this coach. First slide out, is there two slides back two there? Two slides, so the headboard will go out as well. Yeah, I like this padded wall. I like the look of the wood and the padded wall. It breaks it up. It's not all just one thing. The colors go good. We'll start with the front. Uh, full residential, all electric refrigerator, microwave. It has an aqua hot heat and hot water system. Island sink. One TV here for front. Second one for the back. In motion satellite. Hide a bed in the front. And then your dinette. Nice. Leveling jacks too. Yeah. That is the other thing that's intriguing to me. It'll actually, it'll pick up the coach. coach. Yeah. Really? So uh, most Freightliners don't have leveling jacks or? No, pretty much that's all you can run on a, like on a truck like this is hydraulic leveling jacks instead of air. Okay. Uh, because you only have airbags in the rear and you have uh, springs and, and uh, shocks on the front. So you can't uh, air level the coach like you typically would a class A. It does dump the airbags on the rear when you run the jacks uh, to bring the coach down, but uh, that is your only option as far as a leveling system on the truck. Yeah, that's actually it looks like a full residential refrigerator. What sparked the idea for you to come down here today and look at this coach and test drive it? And well, twofold. The one I wanted to see Darren, I hadn't talked to him in a long time, and uh, but ultimately, this there was some there's some safety that everyone cites that gets into these super C's that. You know, I hate to plan for something that possible collision, but um, definitely you'd be in position, you'd be in the number one position if you ever did get into some kind of fender bender here, even over a, maybe even over a Prevo, but definitely over a fiberglass class A. Um, I'm intrigued by the big 1850 feet pound of torque and all that. And, and just, you know, this thing running it relatively empty with just the four of us and full tank of fuel it it's so overpowered for just I, I mean it wants I, it should have I wish it had a super overdrive where you just you could idle it a thousand rpm at 70 miles an hour if you wanted um, so that to me is intriguing because you jump hills with living out west here we got to deal with a lot more hills than than the boys in the east coast do um, that I just you know I was everyone told me this turning radius isn't as much um, to me it was workable it wasn't it's not a deal killer in my books. Um, I won't do a U-turn in my cul-de-sac like I can in my bus, but uh, there's you know there's ways around that. Forty thousand pound towing capacity versus twenty. Um, that's a big thing. Uh, the other thing that intrigues me is service. I mean, you roll in anywhere and just pop the couple latches and the hoods open, and the guys can oil change, air filters, everything's right there. They never need to get into the coach per se other than the driver's seat to move it around. With the bizarro world that we're living in these days I think RVs are going to be a big big hit this summer and 
I know we're considering a few trips and why not take a peek at what's out there? Absolutely, got to keep learning, yeah. Heather, what are your thoughts on um, Court bringing you down to the lot to drive this today? Uh, it was definitely a different experience, a different feel. Um, it, it's apples and oranges. Like this just feels like rough and tough and like I could probably just plow over anywhere <laughs> and tow my big uh, dune buggy thing with us and, and have a great time. I, I'm noticing um, the cool part about this is like our Prevo entertains six, eats four, sleeps two. This actually has a lot of room and would be awesome for families. So if you had like a side by side or you know something that you wanted to pull, maybe even a boat and wanted to go um, RVing this summer, uh, I think that's where the movement's going to be. There's plenty of room for kids. So above your head, there's a cool um, loft spotter, little yeah. area where kids could sleep. And then I was looking, and this huge couch folds out into a sofa bed. And then I think this one folds down too. So yeah. like little kids could sleep on here. Um, yeah, there's a ton of room ton like of with this slide yeah. out. So that's got to be what 10, 12 feet wide. It seems yeah. like. It, it, I mean, yeah, it's it's really. I was quite impressed with the four, like the, how much floor space there was out here. That you could have a lot of people in here and not be um, crowded. And look how like I mean how tall oh, are yeah. you? Oh yeah, super tall. Yeah, I'm. Um, si yeah, yeah, I'm 6'2", and uh, I'm thinking There's I've got probably yeah. barely touch. I think <laughs> Big Tony would be able to stand up no problem. Yeah. yeah. Kind of pleasantly surprised. I really didn't know what to expect. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with how quick the coach cooled down. I caught these guys kind of with their pants down. I just showed up. <laughs> and uh, this thing's been sitting at 105 degrees for all day. It's 4 o'clock right now. And we we just turned them on, and it was immediately, even right here, it's not bad at all. Cooled off, yeah. It was instant, yeah. Yeah, instant like it's, three, it's three definitely the low, but a yeah. lot better insulation than yes. most. Yes. I would. Normally with ours, we can keep like one AC going at 110 and uh, set it at 83, and it will actually keep the coach down to temperature on a I, hot day. You mentioned something really interesting too, just now insulation. So Sport Trucks is right here on the I-10. So there's a really busy, we're backed up onto like the I-10 freeway and I, can barely hear the cars whizzing by. Like that is this a good place point. is yeah. actually really, really sound. sound yeah. Here, let me. Uh, here. I don't know yeah. if, you can, if you can see it. Yeah. Oh yeah. The case with our Monaco. No, the Monaco you could definitely hear. hear everyone. And yeah. But yeah, when you mentioned insulation, that was definitely. A yeah, because we generally just run like one AC with like a middle AC yeah. out of all. That's because you got to keep some. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's pretty amazing. They do very similar. Oh. Oh. Huge, Huge bathroom. Huge mirrors in this bathroom. And I will, uh, just to show you guys how big this bathroom is, I'll even close the door in here. The freeway is literally right behind me here, and I can barely hear all of that semi-traffic. Huge shower in here. This is a super nice coach. I'm really impressed with this. nice bedroom back here. The AC is going back here, so there's a little bit of uh, sound, uh, excuse that, but a uh, huge wardrobe closets across the back. You can smell the cedar closet in here. Really cool ring, I'm really impressed with this coach. Walls are like a leather wrap or something, would be really easy to clean. And you can tell that the quality of this wood is really top notch. Little bench seat there. Just real high quality wood. You can just tell that this is high quality wood. Even cedar there at the bottom of the drawer. That's awesome. Looks like you've got a bunch of wardrobe space there. Yeah, all kinds of uh, storage here as well. Do like a two-point turn, you back up, and then you can come down this way and turn it in. 
that's what I do it all the time. So. All right, so a U-turn in a Freightliner show hauler. <laughs> so I kind of turn up towards that trailer. You'll get pretty close. So then you should back up one time, turn, and then you can come back around. Are these living quarters trailers or? No, these are not. This is all uh, car, car trailer, and that's a sprint car trailer. Oh, nice. Uh, we have, I have a like that semi truck that's down there. Yeah, I saw that. Has a living quarter. It, it's like a couch thing that makes it into a bed, a bathroom, shower. It's more like a, a lounge. Yeah. You know. Uh, You probably had it on, it just took a second. Oh, okay. Um, some of them, like this white stacker here, I think it has like a, just a toilet in it and a sink. Yeah, like a, a little, TV, little like something man. That, like some guys, could, yeah. you know, like a, like a couple of your guys could use, put a you know, couple track uh, or something. Yeah, like put a couple cots there. in the in the stacker trailer or whatever. Yeah, because that one has generator and AC on it. Hey, Darren, I can't thank you enough for letting Court drive this awesome Hallmark RV, showing us this coach. Um, you're here at Sport Truck in Chandler, Arizona? Yes, that's correct. Now, you work in the service department, but if folks are serious buyers and want to uh, learn more about these uh, coaches you guys have on display here, how can folks get a hold of you guys? Uh, the best way is through sporttruckrv.com or call us and talk to any of our sales staff here at Sport Truck RV. Darren, greatly appreciate you. <laughs> Court and Heather, the awesome midlife Prevo, can't thank you guys enough. Greatly appreciate all of you watching today's video. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again.